intellectual property right refers to creations of the mind and when we refer to the creations of our mind we are referring to inventions literary and artistic works uh, names used to associate goods and services to trade intellectual property rights gra grants exclusive monopoly right it grants exclusivity to the person who holds the right they manifest on intangible property in that way they are different from real property real property it's easy for us to understand real property because real property exists in time and space it if you have any dispute with regard to real property we could go and ascertain that physically you could go to the place where the real property is if it's a land then you can you can understand where the borders are intellectual property will not immediately tell you where the outer limits of those properties are if you look at an invention say somebody shows you a mechanical invention to you and if that person tells you it's patented it will be hard for you to look at the invention and say where the outlines or the borders of the property are where uh, what is actually protected as a private right and what are elements which the inventor has used from the public domain you may not be able to say that immediately you may have to do some background work which is you may have to ask for the patent number you may have to go search for the patent number in a patent database and download the uh, patent specification and read the claims to understand what the scope of that intellectual property right in this case what the scope of the patent is so that requires some amount of exercise from you though you may see the manifestation of the uh, of the patent right in the form of an uh, tangible product what your colleague had brought to brought to you a mechanical invention uh, to understand the limits you need to do an entirely different exercise which is to look at the borders of the intellectual property in a patent specification so in that sense intellectual property rights are referred to as intangible right there is also in another intangible aspect which we will be uh, dealing with in in the patent drafting class which follows this so we we'll, we will uh, discuss that in greater detail uh there are different kinds of uh, intellectual property rights patents copyright trademarks industrial designs geographical indications there it's a long list but patents copyrights trademarks and industrial designs were the original rights what what historically evolved as intellectual property rights and they were also uh, it is closer for us to associate copyright patents trademarks and industrial designs to creations of the mind you may not be able to do that uh, with something like geographical indication uh patents cover inventions they are related to technology copyright cover expressions of ideas in in literary artistic uh, or uh, audio uh, recorded uh, medium a trademark covers uh, goods uh, the association of goods and services uh, with a, with an uh, with with uh, with the source of its origin in, in the case if it's a company then we get to know that a particular company had uh, through the mark we get to know that association that a particular uh, good or uh, goods or a service came from a particular uh, uh, company uh, industrial designs helps you to protect designs which are uh, uh, which can be mass produced and they are they cover the aesthetic part of the designs uh, because the functional elements are usually covered by patents geographical indications uh, you, it it tells you the origin of certain goods from a particular geography for instance darjeeling tea so i if it is covered by a geographical indication then you would not be able to pass off any other tea as darjeeling tea unless it comes from that geographical territory so it is like a community mark which is held by the people who produce goods from uh, a particular location and 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 also the location itself the geography itself contributes to the quality of the product it's different because of the climatic condition because of the uh, because of the soil or 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 or, or uh, things like that uh the what is the need to protect ip we live in a knowledge economy and and we are increasingly seeing the fact that intellectual property has become a key player in which countries uh countries uh, move from uh, in various states of uh, development i mean a, a developing country uh, would eventually be regarded as a developed country if uh, it is it it contributes quite a lot to the knowledge economy we have seen instances of countries migrating from the developing end to the developed country and most of them have robust intellectual property rights regime uh, the inter, in, uh, the ip regime in india itself is uh was recently uh, overhauled i mean our laws are in compliance 
with the World Trade Organization WTO and the TRIPS which is an agreement under the WTO. TRIPS stands for Trade Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights and our, our laws are in compliance uh, with the, in the international norms and we had also recently come up with an uh, a national IPR policy which again is a, is a document which will be available for you uh, to read and understand more.